Okay, so this one we're going to talk about the sum and product of polynomials. But let's start with quadratics to begin with. I know that a quadratic is ax squared plus bx plus c. And if it has the roots p and q, and these are real roots in this case, or non-real roots, but this time I'm going to think of them as real, I know that this is in factored form. So if I multiply this out, x squared minus px minus qx plus pq, that equals zero. From here, I'm going to factor out a negative x, which gives me p plus q plus pq. And I'm even going to go x squared minus p plus q, x plus pq equals zero. Now, this is written almost in the form of ax squared. So I'm going to then come along and I'm going to say, I'm going to multiply this equation by a. And so what I know is a x squared minus a p plus q x plus a p q equals zero. So now what I can say is I can say that b is equal to minus a p plus q, which is here, which tells me that p plus q is equal to b over a, negative. Similarly, I can say that c is equal to a p q, and so p times q is c over a. And so I know if I have the two roots, it's if I add the two roots, it's equal to minus b over a. If I multiply the roots, it's equal to c over a. And that's a generalization that I can make. So if alpha and beta are the roots, then I know that's equal to minus b over a. The multiplication is positive c over a. If I go and generalize it for all polynomials, I can then say if this is my polynomial, the sum of all the roots, add them all up, is going to be minus a to the n minus 1. So this particular term here, this coefficient divided by a to the n is equal to the sum of all the roots of any polynomial. And the product of the roots is going to be negative 1 to the n. So that means it's plus minus plus minus. It changes. It's even. This is positive as shown in the quadratic times a0 over a n. And if I look to the quadratic, this is my b term. This is b over a, which is what it says here. So let's use the one for the, let's try an example of this. So if I'm given this equation, I have these roots. One of the things I notice off the bat is that b and c are not going to be real numbers because this particular root doesn't have a pair towards it. So b and c will end up being comp or complex numbers. So if I want to find b, I know that p plus q is equal to minus b over a, and I know that from here. Well, p and q are negative 3 quarters plus 3i is equal to minus b, which I do not know, and a is 3. And so if I multiply by negative 3, I get 9 over 4 minus 9i is equal to b. This is b. Similarly, if I want to find c over a is equal to p times q, well, c over 3 is equal to negative 3 quarters times 3i which gives me c is equal to negative 27i over 4. And so there's a simple example of how we can use the sum and product of the roots to find values in a polynomial.